Okay, so as we move on, we have a profile by CFBC students and an innovation project. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please allow me to adapt the protocol which has already been established. Uh, my name is Shaquille Benjamin. I'm a student of the Clarence S. Y. Bryant College Technical Vocational Educational and Management Studies IT program. And today I'll be presenting on innovation for the future of St. Gis and Nevis. Um, on this slide, this is just a picture showing you all the IT students, both first and second years, and accompanied by the president, Mr. Daly, the dean of TVMS, Mr. Abraham, and the IT, IT lecturer slash student advisor, Mr. Neil. Okay. Um, under each year, each student was were tasked with um, a project to design something, whether it has been created and you'll make it better, or you create something which has never been created before. And on the year one, we have a group which is currently under the process of creating a IT A plus certification license for hardware and software, and which will also be used for teaching aid in the school as well. We also have another group which is currently working on a motion detection and tracking camera system, as well as an all-terrain drone with motion detection. On the year two, we have a national security live feed drone and renewable energy, which will be done via solar energy. Okay. Um, for the first project, we will be taking a normal computer system and taking it apart. And we will basically put it on a flat surface, which will be designed somewhat like a podium. So you will be able to see all the different components which make up a computer system, which will help those students who are not really up to par with the hardware of a computer system, but you know they're good with the software. So this will help them in remembering each component on a day-to-day -day basis as they go to class. And this is just a diagram basically showing the idea of what we have in mind. Okay, for the tracking camera system, we will be taking a camera similar to this and it will be able to pick up someone. Basically what this means like, okay, we are in this room, everyone is seated, no movement. I walk into this room, the camera will pick me up and follow me everywhere I go. Motion, sorry, thank you. See, please. The all-terrain drone with motion detection this drone basically designed to go places where human beings can't go or won't go. <laughs> and it'll be using this small camera on the finger. The small camera will be implemented inside of the drone to pick up body movement or any form of movement. Now, this drone, it is an octocopter which will be used, our main idea for this drone is to help with crime. Basically, it's like um, manual patrol. It works, but sometimes you need an extra eye. So with these drones in disguise, just going around doing the thing, we'll have another idea helping us out with these crimes. Because sometimes you have a crime, but you can't attach anyone to the crime. So this drone can help out. and. It will be a live feed, so you'll have a, mas a master control room which will be picking up everything and give you eyes where you can't see. <laughs> Under the solar energy, we will be using solar panels and basically we will implement them at the school first at TVMS, just as a prototype. Um, it, this, the setup of these solar panels will be different to an average solar panel, as you can see over here. So it will be all the live. It will be a live feed, and the live feed will be going to a monitoring room, which will tell you how much is coming in and what is going out, and 
basically what what is the difference between how much we're using via the solar panels and those coming from Skelec directly. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Take out the picture, please. <laughs> okay. Um, this last project we're working on, it's kind of a secret. But I'll just mention a little bit about it. Um, in St. Kitts and Nevis, we have never seen anything about robotic development. Um, we have seen it all around the world, but not really that much in the Caribbean and St. Kitts, per se. So we have decided to venture into this field of robotic development. And we will be using a motherboard. You can see the, mother, the blue piece at the bottom. That's the motherboard we'll be using. And on top, we have the shield. This will basically be the brain of the robot. But for now, that's just all I can re release. <laughs> so. yeah. Um, yes, go back to the other side. Okay. Yeah, um, on behalf of myself and all the students of the IT program, we would like to thank Mr. Neil for all his help and his encouragement and for never telling us no to any idea we come up with. Because some people may say developing robots and probably going into the idea of drones is something crazy. But something he always says is um, great inventions come from crazy thinking and crazy ideas. So I guess we are just like him now. So. <laughs> uh, yeah.